things got really horny around here in the homestead. everyone and welcome to the Ranger Rod Country Living Channel. Yes siree Bob, things got really horny around here in the homestead. Nothing worse than a horny homestead. What do I mean? <laughs> well, last night Sherry and I were cruising the property doing our thing and uh, coming out to the garden here and uh, we thought oh my gosh I recognize the problem. What problem would that be? Well, we're getting there. Um, let's see if I can show you. For example, right here, you notice uh, a lot of leaves missing on uh, tops of these, uh, some of these uh, tomatoes. Well, that's the sign of Yes siree Bob, hornworms. Not only did we find one home, home, <laughs> hornworm or two, we found last night six of them just in this area. So uh, I had a little BT, BT's uh, uh, good for organic, um, for killing caterpillars. And these buggers are ugly and uh, uh, they will just mutilate your uh, tomatoes. Uh, for example, you can see here where the uh, leaves are uh, been chomped off. And it looks like we got to them fairly early. But I bet you we didn't get them all. Uh, right here, right here, and uh, these things, I swear, they're like two inches long, gigantic green caterpillars. And they will munch away on your tomatoes something fierce. I thought maybe if I looked real close, maybe we could find one for you. I don't want to find one because I'm hoping we caught them. But I uh, only had a little bit of BT left from last year. So today uh, I'm going to go run over and get some more BT and treat all these uh, tomatoes before I'm devastated because uh, yeah those hornworms are will really put some damage into uh, your uh, tomatoes so yes we just want to make it a little less horny around here so uh, I'll kind of update you more in this video as the day goes by uh, I haven't gone out to the piggies yet, and uh, we got to get them uh, set up nicely to cool down. I do have some die-off going on in my potatoes, which is a good sign that it's getting time to uh, think about harvesting. And these plants in here are doing great. Lots of zucchini. Uh, we got lots of stuff coming. Corn's looking good. I still got to fertilize them, but... Uh, we're gonna take about take care of the horny issue around here. So let's go check the piggies. Once again, to update you, uh, we uh, wow, I got mushrooms everywhere. Not good. Um, we're gonna be in 100 degree weather. Oh, a couple more days here, and uh, so once again, it's all about trying to keep the pigs cool and the chickens cool, and. Uh, the pigs have spotted me. So uh, let's get some gates open, get water flowing, and get these guys fed. Either that, they're gonna, they're probably all going, I don't care how horny the worms are, feed us. All right, let's get them fed. 
All right, guys, we got the piggies all fed. Mom's enjoying food. Babies are enjoying food. They're all playing with uh, Belle a little bit. And, uh, but yeah, piglets are definitely enjoying uh, regular food, but they're still uh, dependent on mom. The other two pigs, they're uh, eating their food, filling up their wallows and their waters again. And uh, I wanted to say hello to a guy, I uh, can't remember his name right now, I'm out away from my desk, uh, from uh, west side of Oregon. Interested in piglets, feeders, uh, from Maggie over here. And uh, I got a feeling the piglets that come from Maggie are gonna be beautiful pigs. She's got so many IPP qualities, and so does uh, Sparky. They ought to be amazing pigs. Uh, I think we have four or five available on this set. And you gotta remember, we don't release them till they're eight weeks old or two months old. So these guys won't be released till September, which means Maggie's babies won't be released till September, October, November. And then we'll take a break from piglets uh, to try to avoid winter piglets. I'll be separating I think I'll be running about three paddocks uh, to, and keep Sparky alone. We may get him a uh, uh, a partner. I have one male I may not sell. He's kind of a runt, but he's really cool. Uh, he'll still be a good sized pig, but he won't be in the 300s. We call him a uh, fireball. And uh, I may make him a companion pig with Sparky. Uh, just the... Uh, I don't know, this seems like a humane thing to do than having them in a paddock by himself. So, we will see. Things can change though. But, uh, piglets are having fun. They're learning about water. They're learning about wallows. They're learning about wrestling and running. And, uh, they love to play with Bell. And, uh, except I just thought I like to have them stay a little calmer on this hot weather because they get overheated really fast. So um, I got to keep Bell kind of like calm down a little bit. So anyway, that's what's going on with the piggies. And next thing we got to do is uh, make sure all of our chickens uh, have, uh, are cooled off. And then I got to go get some BT for uh, my tomato plants. All right, guys, a little later in the day, went to town, got some more uh, hay, some odds and ends that, uh, at uh, Bymart, I was looking for a uh, BT spray and I couldn't find any and I went to three different stores and uh, I got back home thinking, gosh, I thought I bought more. Found out I bought a concentrate and so I had that uh, on the side so I mixed up some of the BT in a spray bottle here and I'm going to treat all my uh, uh, tomato plants here because uh, I know I didn't get all the hornworms there was a lot yesterday so let's uh let's start squirting All right, guys, we got that all sprayed under and over uh, all the leaves. And uh, I'll treat it again in a day or two. But uh, yeah, it looks like we caught it early. That's good. And uh, it's time for me to uh, go check on the piglets, make sure they're cooled off, get this put away, because it's warming up. I think after I get done checking on the pigs here. I'm going to go in the greenhouse and inspect the to tomatoes in there just in case uh, one of them crazy little worms got in there but a little harder. We've been kind of keeping it locked up tight this year but uh, anyway guys let's get the water going. Yeah, I stopped in here in the greenhouse a little bit and to much surprise we've got our first San Marcino uh, tomato turn in here. Right. And uh, 
Yeah, he may be the very first one, but there's lots of tomatoes on uh, all the plants here. So it's getting ready to explode tomatoes in here. Uh, we've been kind of tapering off on the floating rafts. Uh, lettuce is just having a hard time with the heat. So I'm just kind of keeping some plants on here uh, for the chickens. I got a couple more Swiss chards. I'm going to give to the chickens and uh, yeah just filled up the swamp cooler check the water on the Dutch buckets everything's cool and uh, I'm uh, not seeing any problems with the plants as far as hornworms uh, but uh, we'll keep an eye out for those little pesky buggers but uh yeah, like I said, I keep it pretty tight in here, so I don't get a lot of critters in here. But, let's move on. I did just get the chickens watered over here. I'm gonna spray the inside of this coop. Uh, and uh, help keep these chickens cooled down. All right, so we got that last chicken coop done. Uh, looks like my uh, towers ran went off okay. I'll double check the tank, make sure. Yep, we got drips. I'm gonna double check it. And then we'll go back inside and cool off again. Well guys, it's a little later in the day. We just finished our podcast. I gotta head out and uh, check in pigs one last time, get them fed, run in sprinklers one more time. And uh, yeah, so it was a good show. Oh, a really good show actually. They probably didn't appreciate my turn up. You'll have to go watch the show to understand that one, but I did grow a really big turn up. So guys, uh, I see some very hot piggies. Got the uh, uh, sprinkler going. I just turned it on from the house. Uh, hit that one more time. Switch it over to the big piggies. Keep them cool for tonight. And we start it all over again. We still got about three days of this really hot weather, but Bill's over there playing with the babies. So it must be cooling down a little bit because they don't play until they start cooling off. So that's good to see. All right, guys, with that note, I'm gonna wrap up the video right here. Guys, At the, before we do that, can you make sure and hit the like button and can you share our videos to other groups and stuff you know of and help us? Uh, we'd really appreciate it. And of course, if you're here for the first time, please subscribe and all the new subscribers. Uh, we love you. Thanks for coming on board. And guys, I'm going to head on out. So please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Have a wonderful day. And let's hope it starts cooling down pretty soon. Talk to you later, guys. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.